Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn about interactive report. What is interactive report in Oracle Apex? How to use it? What are the features we have here in, in uh, interactive report? Those are all things we will learn today. Okay, so interactive report is nothing but a, 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 a concept where we can create a report which gives us flexibility, a lot of flexibility in terms of searching and a lot of other things. So I'll uh, explain you how to create interactive report. And then what are the flexibility uh, flexibilities we have in interactive report? Uh, so here we have this uh, the blank page. We are going to create interactive report over here. Let me go to uh, this edit page too. I'll click on this edit page. And here we are going to create a region which is going to be of interactive report type. Okay. So here I'll say employees because I'm, I'm going to create interactive report on EMP table. And here I'll select uh, report type is interactive report. From here we can choose which type of report we want to create. So I have selected interactive report. We'll search type. We can direct create interactive report directly on the table li like this. So if from here we will select the table name. Let's say I want to create interactive report on EMP table. So I'll search for EMP table. We'll select it and just save it when we will save it and we'll run the page we will get output over here so just uh, so using this emp table we have created our interactive report now what are the flexibility we have here so as soon you'll create the report you are getting this nice uh, search field we can write anything we can search anything actually so let me write precedent over here and i'll hit enter we'll get the information which which actually belongs to precedent okay and uh, if you will write something like, uh, you know, let's say you'll write OR and you'll hit an enter, you'll get all the data which where OR is involved. Okay. So here in entire uh, table, OR is involved in forward only. So that is why we are getting this table. Let's say if I'll select for AN. So wherever AN is, in, uh, is, is getting used, that uh, data will get over here, right? So, so something like this we are getting over here. We have another uh, search field as let's say if we want to select this. Uh, from here we can select the column on which column we want to apply the filter. Let's select the column here and then uh, so, so you have selected e name. Now we'll search by the employee name. E name is nothing but employee name. Let's say if I'll write here Smith, hit enter. I'll get the employee name, right? So it is not mandatory that always write complete name. If you if you want to write let, let's say SM and hit enter, you'll get uh, the data actually. Yeah. So no need to uh, write full name. Whatever uh, string you have, the character you just type here and you'll get the result like that. So this is uh, the by default search field and in interactive report. Apart from that, we have other actions column. We can do a lot of stuff. First of all, I'll, I'll show you the subs subscription part. If you'll click on the subscription, then you'll get that you are getting a message, a mailbox. We can use this mailbox as a subscription. So you'll write just uh, you'll write your email address over here. Just write a subject frequency, how you want your uh, mail to be triggered from here. So if you'll click on daily and just select the date on which date you're going to start it and on which date you are going to end it a mail will get triggered and that mail will contain this as attachment, this uh, report as attachment. We have this feature in interactive report. Now, if you click on download, you're getting options to download the file. Either you can download it in .csv format or HTML format, XLS, PDF, RTF, email. Again, when you click on email, you'll get the same thing. If you want to send to a person, just write his name and uh, write the CC, BCC, subject, body, everything will be will be getting, uh, you can write your, uh, the body, complete body there. Body tag like, hi, please find the attachment. Please find the attachment of employee list, something like that. And uh, once you send the, the mail, it will get triggered to this person to whom you are sending and to the person who is in CC and BCC. Okay, so this is how you can download the file and you can send the email from here. 
then we have another option as report you can save the report we have pivot we have group by we have format data a lot of options over here let me go uh, with the select uh, columns you can select the column let's say i don't want to show employee number i just push it left click on apply the employee number will get uh, hidden from this place from this report okay now if now let's save the report now anywhere whenever a new uh, any uh, user will come he will see this report actually so I'll, I'll save it as default report and once i'll save it as default report all users will can only see this report actually once they'll come to this place they they'll click on column they'll choose this column and then only they'll be able to get the employee number over here like that let's say if you have applied any filter let's say what you have done you have you have uh, here we have data you can sort it you can do aggregate you can compute and all those things so let's say if you want to apply here in salary column you want total sum of the salary for that we can use aggregate function go to this place click on data click on aggregate and then write your uh, function name first sum of column so which column i i want it on salary column apply and now you'll come down you get this this thing ready over here so this is how you'll get the sum of this these all these numbers and similarly you can apply you know sum of aggregate function commission also sum of commissions select another column as commission click on apply and when you'll come down you're getting some of this column also right so this is how you can use aggregate function and now you can save this report also so click on this thing save report and you can save it as default report for every person you're going they are going to see this report actually so for that we can save it as default report let's say you have applied some other uh, other stuff like you're going to format it let's say you're going to highlight it how you're going to highlight the data uh, okay this highlight is not working let it be let's uh, maybe uh, yeah you can use control break what you can do click on control break and you can just write here that uh, according to the higher date you want to uh, break the record click on apply changes and now you'll get this the information on higher date here you, we are getting higher date and the list of the employee higher date employee higher date employee so let's say, let's search for the employee who is having multiple employee and same higher date yeah so here we have the higher date and two employees are there right so we got a report something like this and let's say let's save this report as uh, according to higher date so i'll click on save report and this time what i'm going to do i'm going to select as as named report and here i'll write the name as higher date higher date wise something like that click on apply and here we have another table another uh, another report as higher date wise okay so when you'll switch on primary report uh, when you'll be switching on primary report you'll be getting this result when you'll click on higher date you'll be getting this result right switch on primary report you'll be getting primary report like this so here you can create multiple report on the same report according to your need your requirement yeah so these are all uh, features we have in interactive report that is it for today i just wanted to introduce you with the interactive report uh, that is it for today thanks for the thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much